Okay, so I tried to film this outside by the paddock, by the horse trailer, and inside the stable, and there's something messing with the audio. So now we are within the safety of our own home. So hopefully <laughs> you can hear me because I have no idea what happened. As you can probably tell by the title of the video, we got our own horse trailer and we are very excited. We've had it for a little over two months now because it arrived late October. It is the, and I'm sorry for my pronunciation, I4 Williams HBX511, which is the redesigned version of their old and popular HB511. I have tons of footage from when the trailer arrived and right now it's a bit full of hay and shavings and it's muddy and dirty which is good because it means that we use it. I have written down the questions I've been asked so let's get started. First question, what is your favorite feature? I think my favorite feature just from the awesomeness of it is the front windows that open completely up. Not only is it super handy when you're standing still and the horses can get some fresh air and have a look outside and just chill out. It's also been incredibly helpful for Brego who is quite uneasy in the situation of being hauled around. So having the windows open when he is being trained to walk into the trailer and accept the situation has been just incredibly helpful. The probably most used feature is that you can open the back door sideways. Now you can do this with plenty of trailers, but I've experienced a lot of the solutions to opening it, the door sideways are chunky and difficult and takes some time and muscle power, but being able to just open it up and park a wheelbarrow at floor level means mucking out is just so much easier. Second question, why the HBX 511 and not the old HB 511. So as I mentioned the HBX is the new and redesigned version and personally we have hauled our horses in the old version quite a lot because when you rent trailers you kind of rent whatever is in the area but ultimately what we opted for was the new version because of the windows and how spacious it feels to the horses. Question three, why did you choose the tack room instead of the front ramp? If you are unfamiliar with eFood and the trailers, you can get them delivered with a front ramp, which means that you don't have to back your horse out the same way he came in. And if you have a horse that's insecure about trailer loading, it's incredibly handy because you can walk them through the trailer, like in one motion. But we did choose the tack room because the back door of the car we pull with opens sideways and we can't fully access the booth of the car with the trailer hooked on which makes things a bit complicated if we didn't have the tack room in the trailer. So it was actually just a very simple math equation what are we going to use the most the tack room or the front ramp and it is really <laughs> handy for us to have the tack room so that's what it is. And perhaps the question that everyone is asking can little fit in the trailer? Well, legally he can, in theory he can, which I know excites a lot of you, but sadly it's a little bit more complicated than that. So if you have two horses in the trailer, you have the weight of the two horses distributed evenly throughout the space of the trailer, which means that if one horse leans to the wall, there is a counterweight on the other side that yes, he might lean to the separating wall in between them, but the weight is still even. Lil weighs the same as two horses, and if we were going to fit Lil inside this trailer, we would have to take all the interiors out. We'd have to purchase the long solid bars for the front and the back, so he has support in there. What happens when he can move sideways is that if he gets unbalanced and wanders to one side of the trailer, you suddenly have maxed out the capacity of the trailer on one side and if he starts leaning on that side he can throw the entire trailer off balance and when the trailer is thrown off balance the car can be thrown off balance and you can have an incredibly dangerous situation this isn't at fault of the trailer or the company that makes them this is just simple physics so the answer to the question is yes little can fit in the trailer 
but no, we can't use the trailer with him in it. If we want to transport Lil somewhere, we will have to rent one of those big companies with one of those big trucks who can fit like eight horses. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a bit of a short one, but at least I got to show you what the trailer looks like and some of the cool features, as well as answering the frequently asked questions. So that's all I have for you today and I will see you next time.